All right. Good day, everyone. Uh, for today, I am going to introduce only the yeah the trend right now. So Chat GPT. So what is Chat GPT? Chat GPT is actually a model, a trained model, um, which can actually interact no, in the form of chat, no, interact in a conversation way. So, I am going to introduce with you later uh, at least three examples how to use this chat GPT. So, a short background about chat GPT. So, this, this is, <clears throat> yeah, um, a product no, of uh, research or, yeah, an open AI. It is somewhat connected in open AI and <clears throat> yeah, the creator of chat GPT. Open AI is, uh, as you can see here, an artificial intelligence research and deployment company. Well, actually the creator of uh, open AI, no, the, this is the creator of chat GPT and somewhat connected okay, on Microsoft. So, here, I would like to introduce with you right now the chat GPT. So, all you have to do is to search, okay, in, yeah, whenever, um, whatever search engine. So, you can type chat GPT and after that, <clears throat> you will uh, select the first suggestions and you may now um click this uh this try or even try gpt and here what i did is log in so to log in i use my uh, i continue with my google account and after that the series of steps will require you to to have uh to input your mobile number in order for you to use this. <clears throat> so, earlier, I already used it, or before I already used it, so that is why I have this interface already. So, this is the main interface of ChatGPT. So, as you can see here, there are a lot of examples that we can use. And, yeah, knowing that there are capabilities, there were also downside of using this one so <clears throat> it's more on how we use this technology so here if we are going uh, all you need to do is to click new chat and let's say for example yeah this is actually uh, an adjustment being a teacher at the same time because whenever we give a certain program for our, our challenge machine problem for our student for example so let's say create a yeah the yeah we can say this is the somehow the basic uh, given problem for our students so create a program that prompt user to add two numbers all right uh, in python so once you type or once you enter, yeah, it shows you the suggestions, okay, about the certain program. <clears throat> yeah, an example. So that is the capability of this, and it will actually save here on your thread. So you can delete or you can continue asking for this topic only. So another another capability it can also um, suggest for example uh, the second examples that i want to show you you can use this for um, communication so let's say for instance a uh, creating communication letter so let's say for instance um, write a letter request okay uh, to okay to 
invite um, students in uh, to attend uh, let's say general assembly or uh, you can type here a certain event so let's say career fair and once I press enter it will give me a suggestions okay a certain format how I can invite students okay for that career fair so anything you can ask here and it will give you a certain suggestions that's how it amazed me about this platform. So another example I would like to show you. So as a teacher, it can also give us another <clears throat> uh, helpful tool for us to create lesson plans. So let's say for example, let's start uh, in, a ca in college we have syllabus. So let's say uh, I will ask, uh, I will create conversations that will uh, uh, ask this to create uh, what you call that uh, create all right <clears throat> so yeah create a syllabus about Python okay uh, for 18 weeks 18 weeks all right so for week one these are the suggested topics in python okay and yeah it will easy for us to unlock this certain topic or yeah for us to create a syllabus so you, you can also ask uh, please include at least or top top 10 references or yeah later uh, please include include assessment tasks assessment tasks for every week all right <clears throat> that's right what are the suggested tasks okay so that's how effective and helpful these tools for teachers so not only for teachers uh, many more <clears throat> for students and others <clears throat> so i can also ask chat gpt to include a top uh, top 10 top 10 uh, references okay include top 10 references so let's try okay so there you go it suggests me uh, 10 10 references and make the or convert the references to an APA to APA format. Yeah, the more specific you you ask, it will also give you uh query and specific suggestions all right so i hope this can help you okay or yeah the way i introduced the chat gpt and i hope you can use this for uh anything you know, for searching purposes or for creating something a communication letter whenever you plan for your class and other things and be aware that students can actually can uh, already know this 
and if we give a certain machine problem to them so we might uh, think a possible way that the students uh, will uh, will still be challenged about our given assessment so another um, yeah when we go back here in the yeah the 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 first interface of ChatGPT, we can also use this for API and the API of this and also some sort of um, explanations about this, the methods they have used, okay, the model, the architecture, the limitations. So it explains here you know, about, uh, about this, uh, all about this ChatGPT. Okay, so I think that's all for this video. Thank you everyone. I hope you will subscribe in my channel, Scion Learning TV.